Hey Rovers, I just wanted to share with you a quick tip how to make your weathering waves run a little bit better on Windows, PC, or any playing console that you have. Currently right now, the game in Weathering Waves has a cap on your FPS on 60 FPS, which is more than less ideal. Uh, especially with high-end computers, you'll notice when you run around in the game, there's some micro stuttering. It just doesn't look very good. And so, alternatively, there is now a way to fix this micro stuttering slash 60 FPS, and that is through an application through Steam called Lossless Scaling. I'm going to drag this onto screen. It is a pay-to-buy application. It's a $7 application. However, what it does is it allows Weathering Waves to run at a 120 FPS. It gets rid of all the micro stuttering. It makes the game run wonderfully. So first and foremost, if you're willing to buy it, I highly recommend it because this works for a lot of different games. If you buy this application, I've already purchased it, so I'm just going to uh, close that and I'm going to bring it up onto the screen. So once you have the application installed, you can install it anywhere you would you like. The first thing it's going to prompt you to do is when you load it up is it's going to have these game profiles. So I made one for Weathering Waves. You can just go here, add, you can hit title. Then you want to browse for your Weathering Waves. It's going to be wherever you saved it. So for me, it was WinX Games, Weathering Waves, Weathering Wave Games. And then you're going to click this. I'm not going to do it here, but then you'll create a profile. You don't have to do anything here and you leave it as default. As for most of these settings, they're going to be left as default. You're going to leave it on LS1. You're going to leave it auto, auto aspect ratio. Now on the right side, there's two things you really want to do. You want to hit LSFG 2.0. You want to make sure that's on. Currently it's on off. You click LSG 2.0. You can scroll down. You want to hit draw FPS. Draw FPS is going to show up in the top left of your game up here what your FPS is. Now it's not going to show up because my capturing will not show this application. I'm very new to OBS, so I just couldn't figure out how to have it capture what's going on here. But those are the two options that you're really going to need for here. Everything else you don't really need. You can leave it all basic default. And then there's going to be this button here. It's going to say scale. So when you click this, you have five seconds to click your application. So I'm going to click my application. And now it's going to scale it. You just saw the little flicker there. And now my game is at 120 FPS. There is no more micro stuttering. It runs butter smooth. It runs perfectly. The game's amazing. This application's amazing. I highly recommend it for those who hate 60 FPS. Uh, for those who want the, the best bang for your buck, this is just a current fix. Obviously, hopefully in the future, the Weathering Wave teams or Curl Gaming will add their 60 FP or their 120 FPS back to the game. But right now, this makes the game just run flawlessly, beautifully. There's like no lag. Everything is perfect. It is absolutely incredible. I couldn't, it was the best recommendation that I've ever gotten, and it makes the game run flawlessly. Hey, thanks for watching.